ladies and welcome back. Well, if you haven't already heard, R&B singer R. Kelly was released from jail on yesterday after someone paid $161,000 in back child support for his ex-wife. Now, um, the Cook County Sheriff's spokeswoman uh, told the Associated Press that she didn't know who made the payment. Now, it came three days after a judge ordered Kelly jailed until he paid the total amount he owed by that date. Now, Kelly briefly spoke to reporters Saturday after his release, saying, and I quote, I promise you we're going to straighten all this stuff out. That's all I can say right now. I promise you I love my fans. Hmm. Now, R. Kelly release follows a rough week for the singer. Now, if you uh, don't remember, he made headlines for his explosive interview with CBS uh, this morning, Gail King. Now, this was his first talk since being charged with 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse. Now, hours after that interview aired Wednesday, he landed back in jail for the second time in three weeks after failing to pay the order due child support. Now, the full amount was owed to his ex-wife, Andrea Drea Kelly, with whom he has a 20-year-old daughter, Joanne, and two teenage sons, Robert Jr. and Jay. Now, uh, Kelly's attorney said that he hadn't seen one piece of evidence to support the sexual abuse case against Kelly. Now, he said he haven't seen an interview, haven't seen a police report, he haven't seen a videotape. He said that when they do give them those things, they're going to fight this case like they fight any other case in the courtroom based on evidence. Hmm. Now, last month, Kelly, 52, spent three nights in jail on the same sex crime charges after he turned himself in on February 22nd. Now, he was freed when a 47-year-old suburban Chicago businesswoman who was a fan of the singer posted his $100,000 uh, bond. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Now, uh... <laughs> After uh, his release, um, Michael Avante, the prosecutor for um, the um, the government, uh, said that um, they have now uncovered significant additional evidence that R. Kelly and his handlers transported underage girls across the state lines for the purpose of allowing him to sexually assault them. Now, we will be turning over the evidence to law enforcement forthwith. All right, guys, I only have one thing to say. Uh, it seems that uh, some people don't care uh, what R. Kelly has done to uh, little black girls. Hmm. But uh, there's one thing. Uh his supporters or his friends or his fans can't pay him out of. And that's paying him out of hell. Because if he did this, that's where he's going, straight to hell. And they and they can't pay him for getting them off his ass when they sent him to prison. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. But I just it just came up and it just came out. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm going to hold my mute, but I mean, <laughs> wow. That's all I can say is wow. All right, guys, let's talk about it. Just press that comment button. Thank you so much for watching my video. Hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always important, be blessed, y'all.